He had to go return a rental car, Gurude. Huh? He had to go return a rental yeah, car. I'm very German Prabhu. Oh, you went with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they went, he went also to bring back a rental car. Radhe Jai Jai Mahadavadri. Namon Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestha Bhutale Krishna Madhavati Tadhyana Jai Savai Pina Pati Matra Charitraya Svāsitānaṁ ca pāhine jīva dukhe sadātāyi nāma prema pūrāyi vanthā kalpataru vyasca kripāsin bhugyai vaca patitānaṁ pāvanivyo vaiṣṇavivyo namo mahāvadanyā Krishna Prima Pradayati Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Sri Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhika Yai Tadalayai Krishna Ya Krishna Vaktaya Tadavaktaya Namo Namo Yam Prabhrajan Tamanupeta Mapeta Kritya Dvai Pāyano Virakātare Ajihava Putreti Tanmaya Taya Tarvo Bhinedo Tantara Babhu Taridayam Munimāna Tavai Vāsmi Tavai Vāsmi Najvāmi Taya Bhina Iti Bhishnaya Rādi Tanmaya Māma Charna My humble obeisance in the Lord of Christ, my of my transcendental Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Bhagavatam, Prabhupada Keshav Goswami Maharaj, and same thousands of my humble obeisance in the Lord of Christ of my Sikha Guru, Om Vishnu Bhagavatam, Prabhupada Keshav Goswami Maharaj. Especially I have come by the inspiration given by my Sikha Guru, Sri Srila Bhakti Vedam Swami Maharaj. And to obey Him, I am coming here and there. My main purpose is to glorify Him. Also, my Guru Dev and also our Guru Parampara. Now I am seeing oh. 
prominent outland party. If a man as by reading books or by sharing his Guru Dev or devotee, he understands that world is nothing but like a dream. And in this world everything is momentary. It cannot help us, this world. So knowingly this, by reading any Shastra, hearing from Guru Dev or for any devotee, not by realization, but only by hearing. And he gives up worldly life. And he wants to practice bhakti yoga. But by hearing, he only understands these things, but he has no taste in hearing Hari Katha. In Hari Nam, especially in the serving of his Guru Dev. And devotees, and in testing, hearing Hari Katha in the council of a high class of devotees, this situation is very critical, very very critical to survive in this critical critical situation very hard. And we are almost all in this. Not testing all these things, but we have left also well, very critical. In this situation, if we have not <coughs> taken a decision, very firm or strong decision that I should not give up that association, high class, not serving Gurudev. We should serve our Gurudev. This form and a strong, this mood is there. Then he can be saved, otherwise not. And that is why so many devotees came to my Sitya Guru, your Prabhupada. So many lacks and lacks from different parts of the whole world. And they were in this critical position. They left world. But no taste in Harikatha so much. Only they helped in some way outwardly to their good days. I told about these things in my class of California, San Francisco, San Francisco in, uh, yes, in evening class. Do you remember something, the points, or you can speak that? They should all be here and realize that where we are, more, more, in San Francisco, Srila Gurudev explained that at the present time, this is the most important thing to think over. Why did this happen that so many disciples of our Srila Prabhupada received Harinam and Diksha initiation, were serving our Gurudev so much, opening temples, becoming number one and number two in book distribution in the world, 
opening up Guru Kulish, and some even taking renounced daughter sannyas, most living in the Brahmacharya ashram with our Gurudev. But after his departure, thousands became very weak, and they gave up the renounced daughter, entered into materialistic type family life, and gave up their practices of Krishna consciousness. This question, he said, is the most important question of the present time. When the Guru gives the seed of bhakti and the disciple plants that seed in his heart, it's very important that he water that seed regularly by hearing Harikatha and trace the Sadhu You can come here, give his share to him. New boy, this would be. Especially do our hanging. That what using Latin, yes, you should sit there. You are very young. Ramesh Prabhu should come here. Here, you can swing no hard. Perhaps you have come for swinging. <laughs> Uh, well. He gave a very clear answer that, as he's saying now, we gave up our material activities, but on the other side had no taste for Harikatha. He gave the example of Kala Krishna Das, who accompanied Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as his personal servant in South India. He was doing so much service for Mahaprabhu and helping him in so many ways. So he was very lucky. However, he had no taste for inquiring from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Please answer my doubts. Please tell me Harikatha. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going all over South India and making so many people Vaishnavas. But what happened to this servant who had no taste? He became attracted by the Bhattacharis, Bhattatadis, the gypsy girls, and he became enchanted and even left the association of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then on the other side, Srila Gurudev said, here's another type of disciple, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. Right from his young age, he had so much taste in hearing from his Gurudev, Yadunandanacharya, from Srila Haridas Thakur, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sarup Damodar, Gadadhar Pandit, and ultimately Sanatam Goswami, and more ultimately Rupa Goswami, he always wanted to hear from them. And he learned from them how to chant in the right process. And he became so successful. He's the number one Rupa Nuga Bhakta of all existence. So here's two kinds of disciples. Gurudev was explaining that when we plant the seed of bhakti in our heart, we have to regularly water it by chanting and hearing in pure de devotee association. Then, when that seed grows a little bit and it becomes a sprout, and some roots start taking hold in the earth, at that time not so much water is required as before, but now that gardener, that disciple, that aspiring devotee, has to make a fence around his baby creeper. And what is that fence? That fence, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Srila Rupa Goswami, is the association of pure devotees. Particularly, he has to take shelter of that devotee who has become like a giant tree. His roots are deep, deep in the soil and he doesn't require watering from anywhere outside. He's self-supportive. And no elephant, even a mad elephant, cannot go near that tree and do any harm. The mad elephant represents offenses to Nam, to Vaishnavas, to Seva, to Takoji, to all Jivas, particularly to Vaishnavas. And the fence represents the association of pure devotees. And so one has to chant in that association, in the right process. So many examples Srila Gurudev gave of the right process. That is, one should avoid the association of non-devotees. He explained who is a non-devotee. Um, 
the Maya bodies, those who are associating with women or those who are very friendly with those who are associating with women, one should avoid that person's association. One should follow Cheto Darbana Marjanam Bhava Maha Devami Nirvapanam. The process that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu set up, particularly the four, becoming feeling lower than the straw on the street, more tolerant than a tree, devoid of all sense of false prestige, and ready to offer all respects to others without any desiring any in return. And Nam Nam Akari Bahudar, lamenting, grieving, singing the prayers of our previous acharyas that I have no attachment for your holy name, although you've invested all of your powers in that holy name. So Sadhu Sangha Sadhu Sangha Sarva Shastra Koi, Sadhu Sarva Siddhi Sadhu Sangha, sorry, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha Sarva Siddhi Hoi. All the Shastras say that Sadhu Sangha Sadhu Sangha Sadhu Sangha, even a little bit, can give full perfection. And even a little bit of what? Five. There's numbers. These four becoming lower than the straw on the street, more talent than the tree, offering respect to others and not desiring any. And these five, what is that? Chanting the holy name in the association of pure devotees, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam in their association, living in Vrindavan, if not by body, then by mind, in that association, and serving Takoji with faith in that association. Everything comes back to that association, and when one does so, then he tastes that anandamuri bardhanam. He swims in the waves of love and affection of Krishna, and Gurudev gave on that evening the example of Mahaprabhu, who was swimming in the waves of the ocean, having jumped in by thinking that it was the Jamuna, feeling so much separation from Krishna, having chanted in that right process, Oh, son of Nanda, I'm your eternal servant. But although I am so, somehow or other I've fallen to this material ocean of birth and death. Please pick me up and engage me as an atom of your lotus feet. That kind of helplessness and humility in the association of pure devotees. Then he told the story of how the fishermen um, caught Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his net, how Sarup Damodar was the ghost exorcist to relieve that fisherman of his so-called ghost, how they performed Sankir Tantra Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and how he lamented that, oh, I was serving Radha and Krishna and the gopis, they were engaging me and Krishna was loving me. And then you woke me up for that. He, he told the story of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu going to his teacher, his spiritual master, Srila Ishwarapuri, and said, what is this mantra that you've given me? You've told me how to chant it, that there's nothing Kalona Steva Nasteva Nasteva Gatira Nita, there's nothing but this holy name. You told me that I should consider myself a fool and take this name as my very life, that nothing else will make me happy. So I did that, but what happened? What did you give me, Gurudev? I've become like a madman. How? My Hari Nam turned into a sham colored boy. The very Hari Nam turned into Krishna. And I saw him playing a flute and gazing at me with sidelong glances. And I went to follow him. I went to catch him. But he began moving backwards here and there. When I was just about to capture him, he disappeared. And I became like a madman and began rolling on the ground. Oh, my beloved Krishna, where are you? Where are you? So Gurudev is giving the process from the beginning, Chaito Darpana Marjanam, Pratipadam Punamitam Svadhanam how one can taste nectar, Radha Krishna's leelas at every step by following this right process and going beyond that critical stage. Thank you. <laughs> so, we should think about this. Very critical position. Those who think that now I have become Guru. We have served for twenty years our Prabhupada. Nothing to know more. Nothing to hear. Nothing to read. 
Bhakti Manoj Thakur Srila Prabhupada, who have only come from our Prabhupada. We know only Prabhupada. It means he, nothing, he knows nothing. False a woman. You can compare this situation with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Even being Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself, Vrajendanandan, and how He questions Raya Ramananda and hears. Hmm? Very patient. Questioning and He is answering. Though all the things are coming from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, He is inspiring Him. But who is He speaking? Hmm? Who is Solving the questions of oh, Rāyaramāna. Anyone comes to Chaitanya Mahāprabhu, oh, he, talk, he tells that, I don't know Haridatha. I have heard something from Rāyaramāna. If you want to hear Harikatha, you should go to Rāyaramāna. You know one Brahmachari, Nishingānanda or Sadyum Nimishra, Nishingānanda also is he said, but he returned back, was not satisfied. He saw that he, he was engaged in, Rāyaramānanda was engaged in serving a oh, very teeny as a teen as a girl, and making them bath, decorating them everywhere. Oh, they were naked, but even decorating them. and. Telling the poses how to dance in front of Jagannath and the modes. So he thought that he is not a good devotee. He is with naked girls, teenagers, and he is decorating them in a lonely place. No one is there. I cannot believe in on his character. So he must be any loose correct. And then he returned by Mahaprabhu told her, Have you heard? Oh, he was engaged in something and so I returned back. Oh, you must go again. And tell that, oh, uh, Gauchandra has sent me to hear some Harikatha to you. And then he again went. Raramanam told, Oh, he did pranam to that Brahmin. It may be that he has taken the lotus dust of that Brahmin Nishimdhananda. But now he was so much regard for that Ayaramananda. Oh, he told that, Oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent me to hear something. Oh, Mahaprabhu has sent Oh, I must help him. Then what Harikatha you want to hear? Oh, the same thing that you have told to oh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Same thing I want. And then he you know, knew that this person, this Brahmin and devotee, had no idea of anything, A, B, C, D. So he began to question himself and answering also. Wow. A pure devotee can ask any question. Otherwise, those who don't know ABCD of Bhakti Mar, they cannot ask any pure question. And without questioning, oh, they cannot hear, they cannot know anything. So, Tadviddhi Pranipatena Pariprasnena Shivaya Pritim Sutitena. Then they will give something, instruction. Otherwise not. Without seva, without unconditional surrendering, hmm? and without oh, very humble questions. Any tattvavid cannot sprinkle their mercy to you. First be like this. I know everything. I am Guru. So I am question, making questions only to know that you, you know or not. Oh, this is not so. Then he went and he told that, Oh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent. And then he was questioning and answering both. And when he heard all these things, now 
First he gave his lotus dust to him, and now he felt fire rolling on the earth. Oh Prabhu, now we are not. Pray, please be merciful. And having so much glorification in his heart, he returned to Mahaprabhu and he also, Oh, really you have done, sprinkle your mercy that you have sent there. Otherwise, I have not known all these things. So himself, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is hearing. And you, if think that, Oh, we have now become perfect. And Guru, no need of reading Rupa Goswami, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti, Siddhan, Sarasati, Bhakti, Vano Thakur. Oh, we have done and such so much. Now you are really Guru. Then you are not Guru, you are what? Kangaru. Kangaru. Kangaru <laughs> <laughs> of where? Australian Kangaru. <laughs> you should be tight. I heard, I hear that Oh, my, among my oh, senior disciples, they don't attend any classes because they know all everything. Mm. But I know that they don't know anything, everything. False. They must attend all without attending high association. You cannot know anything. So give up this false and attend classes without any hesitation, and here. Not only he, you know Raghunath Das Goswami, whole his life was engaged in hearing. She told from Jadunandan Acharya, from Hari Dashtaku, from Sachinandan Gauhari, again Nityananda Prabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, again to Sarup Damodha, Raya Ramanam, eh, Sarup Damodha, and then Kodada, and all Vaishnavas there in the Council of the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Gambhira. And after that, he took shelter in the lotus feet of Rupa and Shanath. So, we should try to be like that. That is why we see that by hearing in high class of association, we should try to fix our goal of life. If no goal of life, then everything is useless. And that is why in Chaitanya Chaitamri, first Srila Krishna Das Goswami, hearing from Rupa Raghunath and all of us, we wanted to fix our goal, especially in third, first Adi Lila, third and fourth Chaitanya Chaitanya. He has definitely, strongly, he has established that what goal is supermost. Especially in Rayaramanan Sambhad, he has described so many objects and so many processes. And he has given, given so many definitions of these. But we don't read to ac accept all these things. Very deeply we don't want to go inside. And that is why we are always we can be. If anyone will hear, all these things from a bona fide devotee, mm -hmm. then he will very easily oh, fix his goal of life. Mm -hmm. Goal of his what? Satanpajatika. Otherwise, no. So, in first ch chapter, third and fourth, why, what, was, what were the causes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to come? What were the causes that Krishna wanted to come to this world? <coughs> With his all associates, taking the mode, inter, intrinsic mode of Radhika and golden 
fight again. And in this thing, oh, he is explaining all this. What he has heard from where? Guru, Raghunath especially, he heard. He heard from them, oh, the idea, mood of Sarup Damoda, that is Lalita, Vishakha, Rayanamanam. And then he has told something in third and fourth chapter. What was that cause? Can you? In brief. Hmm? Four reasons. In brief. You can take very If you want to oh, keep all these things in your heart, then att attentively hear all this. <coughs> because you have left everything and come here for seven days here from different parts. So you should take something. Gyanandana shalaka sakshur amilitam jena tasvaya sri kurave namaha Srila Gurudev has ordered me to repeat something what I have heard from Sri Chaitanya Tartamrita especially here in the Adilila chapter 3 and 4 Srila Krishna Skaraj Goswami is explaining very deeply the reason for the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Our Acharyas have explained very clearly that Mahaprabhu, he has two reasons for appearing in this world. His primary reasons and his secondary reasons. So first of all, the primary reason. This also has two parts. Primary, primary. And so secondary, primary reason. So first of all, Srila Swarup Damodar Goswami here has explained. Sri Radhaya Pranaya Mahima Kidrisho Vainayava Begin from beginning, from bottom. Yada Yada Hi Dharmasya. I'm explaining, not from starting from the top, starting from the bottom. Bottom reason. Don't go, jump, begin from. <laughs> we know from Bhagavad Gita, Krishna himself explained his reasons for coming in this world. Yada yada hi dharmasya, lanir bhavati bharata, avyutana madhamasya tadapmanam sridhamyaham, pritranaya sadhunam vinashya tajuskitam, dharma sangtapanatya sambhavami yuge yuge. Whenever the Religion is on the decline and irreligion is rising up. At that time, Krishna said, I appear myself. I destroy the, the demons and the influence in this world and I protect the devotees and I establish real religious principles. So, when the age of Kali came, then Krishna himself, he appeared as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and one of his reasons for coming was this, to establish Yuga Dharma. What is the Yuga Dharma? Harinam Sankirtan. All should chant Krishna name. In this age of Kali, there is no other religious process but the chanting of the holy names. So this reason, this is very good. Also, before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, Sri Advaita Charja, Krishna's own expansion and coming to this world, <laughs> and he was thinking, oh, all are engaged in so many activities against devotional service. I want Krishna himself to come and he will establish religious principles in this world. So Dwaita Charya, he was worshipping his Shalagram Shila with Tulsi leaves and Ganga Jal and with tears and crying very loudly. And by his calls, he inspired Krishna. Krishna was surely going to come in this age of Kali. But at which time he would come, at which moment, it was not fixed. But the call of Advaita Charya inspired him, I will come now and appear in Navadvip. 
So to establish Yuga Dharma and also by the call of Advaita Chaya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is coming to this world. But he has some very special reasons. So he is, Krishna himself is saying, Premarosa Nirjas Karite Ashodan, Raga Marga Bhakti Loke Karite Pacharan. I have come, I want to come to this world. Why? Raga Marga Bhakti Loke Karite Pacharan. I want to give a type of bhakti which was not given before. What is that? Raga Nuga Bhakti. Many incarnations appear in this world. Matsya, Varaha, Karma, Nishinga, Kalki, Parishuram, Ramachandra, Varahadev, Bhamandev. So many have appeared in this world. And also so many Acharyas came. Madhva Acharya, Ramanuja Acharya, Nimbaditya, Vishnu Swami. But though they taught something about Bhakti, they taught Vaidhi Bhakti, devotional service which is performed according to regulative principles, inspired by the discipline of Shastra. But Krishna, he is not so much pleased by this Bhakti. He can be pleased, but this type of Bhakti cannot control him. So Krishna, he wanted to spread and establish and preach within this world Raganuga Bhakti. That means devotional service, following the moods of the residents of Vrindavan, who have natural family relationship with Krishna, which is free from all awe and reverence. So he never, Mahaprabhu, came, he never came to establish Vaidhi Bhakti. Never. Because so many previous Sachas has done this. Especially for what he came. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give this Ragamar. Why? He's saying, Sakale Jagati Kori More Vidi Bhakti, Vidi Bhakti, Braja Bhava Paiti Nahi Shakti. All in this world are following Vaidhi Bhakti. But this doesn't have the power to awaken within the heart the love of the residents of Vrindavan. Aishwarya Gyaneti Sab, Jagatami Sweet, Aishwara Shitila Prema Nahi Mora Preet. He's saying that those who think that I am God and I am the Supreme Lord and they serve me with a mood of awe and reverence. That love, it cannot fully satisfy me or control me. I like the love of the bridge basses. My friends, they never think that I am God. They think I am equal to them. And what to speak of that, my mother thinks, oh, she is more than me. She thinks if I don't feed my son my breast milk, oh, then he will become weak and skinny. And more than that, the gopis. They can chastise Krishna and call him a cheater and a liar and so many things. And he enjoys this so much. This is very sweet music to his ears. So Krishna was thinking, I want to, the, the jivas of this world, they will have a chance to serve me with this very high class of love. And among the different moods, Mahaprabhu himself is saying, Yuga Dharma Prabhataimu Nama Sankirtan. I will establish Yuga Dharma Nama Sankirtan. But something more than this. Chari Bhava Bhakti De Anachamu Bhuvan. I want to give the moods of Vrindavan. Shastri Sakya Vatsai and Madurja. No one else can do this. Yuga Dharma Pravatana Hoya Angsa Hoite Ami Bina Nohi Ani Braja Premadite. My Angsas, my incarnations, they can establish Yuga Dharma. Advaita Charya can come and establish Yuga Dharma. But no one can give Braja Prem. This is my prerogative, I only I am giving this. So Mahaprabhu came to give this. And among this Braja Prem, especially through Rupa Goswami Pad, Mahaprabhu wanted to give something that was never ever given before. So Rupa Goswami himself revealed in his Vidagda Madhav Natak, Anarpita Charim Chirat, Kurunayavatir Nahakalo, Samarpayatum, Unnat Ujwala Rasam Swabhakti Sriyam, Hari Purata Sundara Juti Kadamba Sandi Pita Sadari Daya Kandare Spratuva Sachinam Nana Chilu Pagaswami is praying May that son of Satimata Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appear in the innermost chambers of your heart He is Hari, the Supreme Lord Himself but He appeared in His age of Kali with the sentiments and complexion of Srimati Radharani to give what was never given before in this day of Lord Brahma, in this Kalpa, for 8 billion, 460 million years, 640 million years. It was never given before during this time. 
And what is that? Samar Paitum, Unnat Ujwala Rasa Muswabakti Sriyam. Unnat Ujwala Rasa. This is the mood of the gopis of Vrindavan. Parakya Rasa Bhakti. How they love Krishna without any mood of own reverence. Thinking, not that Krishna is my husband, thinking he is my paramo lover. And among them, Shimati Radharani is the highest. Unnat Ujwala Rasam Swa Bhakti. Krishna here, Swa Bhakti. The bhakti of Krishna's own nearest and dearest Shimati Radharani. So, Mahaprabhu has not come to give this. He came to give Unnat Ujwala Rasam Swa Bhakti Sriyam. The beauty of the mood of Shimati Radhika. Here, Srila Ramananda Rai, he explains to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahabhavchin Tamani Radhara Sarupa Krishna Prema Kalpalata Sakigana Hoi Tarapala Pushpapata Radharani is like a creeper that fulfills all the desires of Krishna. And that creeper is so beautiful, especially when it has many leaves and flowers and oh, small flowers, manjuris. When the wind will blow, then the leaves and manjuris, they'll all dance. So Radharani is like a creeper, and her sake is there like the leaves. And manjuris, or oh, small flowers, they are her maid servants. So these manjuris, they are the beauty of the creeper of Shimati Radharani. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came himself, and he wanted to give a special type of love. That is, the mood of the maid servants of Shimati Radharani, Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari, and others. Even in their dreams, they have no desire at all to meet independently with Krishna. They only want to serve Radharani completely and make arrangements for her to meet with Krishna. It may be that Lalita and Vishaka, they are superior to the Manjaris. They are like their gurus even, giving them instructions and orders. So they are senior, according to Padmar Dyada, according to etiquette of their position. Lalita and Vishaka, they are superior. But Raghunath Dasa Swami especially is praying. Sakyaya te mama namostu namostu nityam. Dasyaya te mama rasostu rasostu satyam. I give my pranam to the position of Lalita and Vishaka. They are so high, but I don't want to be like them. I only want to be the Dasya of Shimati Radharani. Even though by Padmar Jada, that means by the etiquette of their position they are superior. By Seva Vaishistya, that means the speciality of the service opportunities. The Manjuris are more fortunate. They have more chance to be very close to Radharani and serve in so many intimate ways. So Mahaprabhu, he wanted to give this thing. So, this is another reason for Mahaprabhu's appearance. Very special and important reason. And all the Acharyas coming in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami part. They are in this mood and they are distributing this mood in the service of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And of all the reasons for Mahaprabhu's appearance, the first and prominent and primary reason of all was described by Saurabh Damodha. Sri Radaya Panaya Mahima Kiddisho Vaniyavva Sajonye Nad Bhuta Madurima Kiddisho Vamadiya Soktad Bhava Sokyam Chasyahat Madanu Bhava Nadva Kiddisham Veti Lobhat Tad Bhava Dya Samijani Sachi Garabha Sindho Harindu He's saying that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared from the womb of Satyamata like the moon appearing from the ocean. Why? Because he had a very intense greed to understand three things. Sri Radaya Pranaya Mohima. What is the glory of Radharani's love? It is so powerful. Krishna himself had, has admitted. Radhikara Prema Guru Ami Shishanat Ami Sadhanana Nritte Nachaya Udbhat. The love of Radharani is so powerful. It is my guru. And it causes me to dance in various novel ways all the time. So what is the glory of Radharani's love? And Sojore Yenat Bhutama Durima. Krishna was thinking, oh, Radharani is so qualified, she attracts my mind. Yet, she seems to be more attracted to me than I am attracted to her. There's something about me that I don't understand that she realizes, that she is tasting. E prema dwari nitya radhika akali amarama duri amrita ashwade sokali. Radharani through her love. She tastes my sweetness completely. Only she can do it by her love. So if I can be absorbed in the mood of Radharani, only then will I be able to see myself through her, her eyes and realize 
What are the sweetnesses in me? My Venu Maduri, the sweetness of my flute, flute playing. My Rupa Maduri, the sweetness of my form. My Prema Maduri, of my love. And my Lila Maduri, of my pastimes. So this was the uh, second of the threefold reasons which are primary for his appearance. And the third one, Krishna was thinking, in this world, those who are rishis and sages like Bharat Muni, they have written something about the love between male and females. And they have said, both enjoy equally in their affairs. But he doesn't know my Vrindavan. Radharani, she experiences thousand, thousand times more happiness than me. What happiness does she experience? I have agreed for this. So the prominent reason of all is divided into three. Krishna wanted to realize the greatness of Radharani's love, the sweetness in him that only she can taste through her love, and the happiness that she feels in their loving relationship. And therefore, he appeared in this world as Satyanandan Gorahari. I did think Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave some idea that what should be our goal of life, goal of our sadhan bhajan. Swamiji, Sri Bhaktivedan Swami Maharaj, Yod Prabhupada, my Sikhya Guru, he came to fulfill the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu this way. Not for anything else. As you have heard that Nam Sankirtan is Yuga Dharma. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never has come for this. Only Nam Sankirtan. So, you should also know that the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, he wanted to fulfill the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So if he is not fulfilling this desire to preach this thing in this world, to give this thing, very thing, then how, by Nagar Sankirtan, how can he can do? So he has not come for this. Hearing this in Mathura, once whole Iskon became upset. And they told, oh, he is Minimizing uh, minimizing our Guru Dev. I told her, all oh, foolish person. <laughs> all foolish. I'm glorifying that he has not come to do the job of Mahavishnu to establish Yuga Dharma. What is Nam Sankirtan? Or to do Dharma Pratishtha. He never come only for that. He came for the same reason that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu For the same reason from whom Rupa Goswami has appeared in this world. Only for this. And what was that? Oh, we have told. What? To preach Rag Marga first. A Guru can give this. Rupa Goswami. Very easily he gave it. Ragmar. You should know what is wrong. <coughs> How you can know? If there is no high class of association, you should know first what is bhakti, what is uttama bhakti. You should know what is oh, adhama bhakti. Adhama bhakti means? Mishra bhakti. Mishra bhakti. Aro Siddha Bhakti, Sangha Siddha Bhakti. Oh, amalgamated Bhakti with karma and kya. We should know all these things. And what is called sadhan? What is called sadhan? We should know. For bigness, oh Guru, make it tell, Rupa Goswami tell, oh, very good a student. But really, what we are doing, this is not Uttama Bhakti or Madhyama Bhakti or Shuddha Bhakti, even amalgamated. It comes in the, eh, in the Srini category. category of what? Oh, Sangha Siddha or especially Aruk Siddha. 
these are not pure bhakti. What is the definition of sadhan? What? You. Which is subject? You should know what is sadhan bhakti. Go on. Vidyan, Vandasya, Gyan, Jara, Sabakaya, Takshuran, Mrita, Menatha, Smaya, Sri Guru Vainamaha. So sadhan bhakti has been divided into two parts. No, no, I want to know the definition. So Vibhada Swamipad has given definition, Kriti Sadhyat, Bhavet Sadhya, Bhavasya, Sadhana, Abhyan, Niche Siddhasya, Bhavasya, Prakata, Mridi Sadhya, Tha. What is the meaning? Kriti Sadhya, so Sadhan Bhakti means to perform activities with Kriti by body, mind and words <coughs> to develop uh, Siddhasya Bhavasya, the eternal mood situated in the Jiva. So activities to, perf to attain the st stage of Bhav Bhakti by body, mind and words, that is called Sadhan Bhakti. You, wondering. Kriti Sadhya Bhavet Sadhya Bhavasa Sadhana Vidha Nitte Siddhasya Bhavasya Prakatyam Riti Sadhya Tha. The eternal mood, Nitte Siddha Bhav, is eternally perfected and there is no need to make any endeavors to get that because it's eternally existing. But for the conditioned soul, how he has to awaken that eternally eternal perfected mood in his heart through Kriti Sadhya by engaging his body, mind and senses in devotional activities and when such engagement is uh, tadatmic means when it becomes one like when we put an iron rod in fire and then what happens after a while the fire and the iron, they becomes identical, hot, and the iron rod imbibes the quality of fire, and it can also burn anything. So similarly, although these mundane senses, they cannot touch the spiritual, uh, spiritual substance, the transcendental mood, but when under the guidance of Hari Guru and Vaishnavas, the bona fide Vaishnavas, when we practice bhakti, then by their association, these limbs of bhakti which are transcendental, they attain the dhatma, the oneness uh, with our senses. And then gradually by focusing these endeavors to attain the particular mood in which one wants to serve Krishna, then this is called sadhana bhakti. You. I will chastise you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kuzay ordered me to explain about sadhan. So, Rubhya Sahipad has explained in his Bhakti Rashamit Sindhu, Kriti Sadha Bhavet Sadha Bhavasa Sadhana Vida Nitta Siddha Sabhavasa Prakatam Hridi Sadhata. So, we just we have heard from Sri Padaranda Maharaj and Srila Gurudev. We have to fix our goal at first. So what is our goal? And how we can get that goal? We have to know very clearly. In these circumstances, I want to clarify another point. That all Jeevas are, all living entity are eternal servant of Supreme Personality Godhead Krishna. And all of them, in their constitutional form, some kind of servitor mood inside that living entity's heart. Some living entity, in his constitutional form, 
want to serve Krishna as a servant. Some are want to serve Krishna like his friend. Some want to serve Krishna like his parents. And some want to serve Krishna like gopis in Paramar mood. This is already fixed in our constitutional form. So, Nitya Siddha, that Nitya Siddha means eternal perfect mood is in our soul. So we have to manifest that. How it is possible? We have to fix our goal. I want to achieve mood. Mood means bhav. What kind of bhav? Rati. Bhav means a roti. So, if we do sadhan means do some process, how to achieve that bhava roti? Keeping this goal or keeping this destination in our mind, I must have to attain that goal. That means I have to achieve that roti. So fixing our goal, if we do sadhan, if we do any process, how kriti sadha with by the help of our indriya and kriti means very carefully. Sometime it did, I do today, a few days gap, no, have to do continuously and very carefully, <coughs> then you will be sadhan. If we not fixed our goal that we have to achieve bhav or rati, if we not fixed and we doing Hare Krishna Mahamantra or in Savan Kirtan, then it is not sadhan, it is sadhana bhas, semblance of sadhan. So, we have to fix our goal, then we have to achieve the rati, and then under guidance of Bonafide Vaishnav and Bonafide Gurudev, if we proceed, then it will be complete sadhan, otherwise sadhana bhas or anything else. Hare Krishna. Again and I am again telling same thing. Same thing. Oh, and something a special all are telling. Oh, my God, you should hear and, and try to realize and understand. If you are not understanding, oh, again you can go. <coughs> Ask questions. <laughs> so you should try to come in sadhan, not in false ego. Is that what I am doing or it is sufficient? So here Srila Gurudev and Srila Maharaj and other devotees explaining what is sadhan. One most important is we have to first fix our goal of what we are trying to uh, achieve with that sadhya. Very good. Sadhya, the word sadhya, uh, means the aim at object. Just like if the Aranya Maharaj, he many times tells when we go to the train station and tell, oh, we want to get a train ticket, first um, the conductor will ask, where do you want to go? But if we don't know where we want to go, we may say, oh, just give me some ticket, I'll figure out later where we want to go. So we cannot actually purchase the ticket this way. We have to know where we want to go. <coughs> so the aim and object of sadhan is that path, that mood that we're trying to achieve. And then the process by which this mood can be obtained, which is eternally situated in the soul, is by engaging the external senses, the mind and the body, in the process of, of uh, bhakti, even though the material senses and the mind cannot touch that mood, but just like iron, when it is put into fire, it eventually takes on the qualities of the fire, becoming also hot and red and burning like the fire. Eventually, under the guidance of Bonafide Guru and pure Vaishnavas, it can turn into bhava bhakti. Well, it took then it is called Shatmi. Then you know, mood. Yes, there is no what, object of our sadhan bhakti. That I want to achieve her rati. Shraddha 
फर्स्ट साधु संघ अनथ निवृत्ति देन निष्ठा देन रुचि देन आसक्ति एंड देन वी विल रीच इन दिस स्टेज ऑफ रति सो हियरिंग फ्रॉम वैष्णव हियरिंग द ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस रति नोइंग व्हाट इज रति रति ऑफ गोपीज टुवर्ड्स कृष्ण रति ऑफ फ्रेंड्स टू कृष्ण रति ऑफ फादर वन नंद एंड जशोदा टू दिज आर स्थाई भाव समथिंग लाइक so they should know all these things and then they should fix the goal that i want to achieve but this thing rati is transcendental our tongue our mind our senses cannot touch transcendental words you know never but anyhow in the guidance of shuddha guru de taking initiation in real sense in real sense not in what formality formality how all how all diksha is like formality, formality. <coughs> not in real sense we are we were admitted in that diksha school diksha is school but we have not completed the course but we think that oh we have passed we <laughs> are so we are in class we should try to know and then hearing all these things a tendency will come that how i can achieve this transcendental rati then by the order by the teachings of our gurudev shiksha guru vishnu will engage this what senses senses what's the material senses material sense material yes yes but engaging and always of practice practicing our serving gurudev <coughs> and falling we are doing for rati making goal of this and then if he will engage all this then in what process it come it will come or kripa pram prabhu and what kundari has it it will come that transcendental rati will come how like in iron or fire power will come it comes and becomes one tadatma bhav oneness and then rati comes नित्य सिद्ध भाव प्राकट्यूशनल फॉर्म एनी ऑफ दि फोर एनी ऑफ दि थ्री स्पेशली आईदर इन बासल रस और फ्रेंड रस और now by practice first by sadhan by the senses will attain rati and when rati will be achieved then what is, what we uh, will be our goal prem will go and if this goal is there then it is bhav bhav sadhan bhav bhakti and then gradually go pramana hariyo Oh, yes, sir. Darren, Jenny, Aluminium, or any what name? Keyboard. Keyboard. From tomorrow. Now we yes, use it. Any question? Oh, I want. And so much, uh, my yeah. Thanks. Thanks. 
तो माय फ्रेंड रमेश
Yesterday, we were explaining what is sadhana, and then it came that when our object will to attain a rati. Move. And for this, with these material senses, sun, mind, we will uh, <coughs> do sadhan, then it will be sadhan, otherwise not. So first, that will be object that I want to attain a rati. But what is rati? What is that rati? That mood, that should be object. Then, shuddha sattva, vishesh atma, prema sudhyam susamya bhat, Yutvi chittam marshanya tudasau bhavam ushyati. What is this bhav? We should know. If you don't know what is bhav, what is the rati, then how it can be your object to attain? If anyone knows, knowing all these things, then how we can do any sadhana? So if knowing not all these things, he is doing sadhan, not sadhan, it may be sadhan, abhas are more lower than that, hmm? not actually bhakti. So we all are in this category. Hmm? So what is rati? Shuddha-sattva vishesh atma. Can you do? Explain this slope? Never heard. You? Black cat? No. Yes, what is the meaning? What is the meaning? You, you, Radhanath? So yesterday very nicely <coughs> we were discussing what is Sadat Bhajan. So Guru Maharaj was describing those efforts to attain the state of Rati that person is a sadak, and he is performing sadhan bhajan. So what is rati? Sudha sattva visheshatma prema surya angstha samjabak. The prema is described like the spiritual sun. So the first ray of that spiritual sun to appear in the heart, that is called ba. Sudha sattva, it's non, it is not a material mood. It is coming from the heart of visheshatma. Visheshatma means the ragatmik parikasin, Vrindavan Dham. So when from their hearts a ray of Sudha Sattva enters our hearts. What is Sattva? Then what is Suddha Sattva? And then what is Vishuddha Sattva? And then Suddha Sattva Vishesha. Four things are here. What is Sattva? Sattva when we say goodness and Suddha Sattva means no. Non-material goodness. No. Upper crit. No. Try to attend the classes of devotees. You should not think that I have known everything master of all. <laughs> Try to give up this what false ego. Be humble and try to attend classes of Shyam Rani, Madhva Maharaj, 
अनंत महाराज वन महाराज तीर्थ महाराज और मेटेरियल सत्व नो एक्जिस्टेंस सो ऑल काइंड ऑफ एक्जिस्टेंस हु आर इन दिस वर्ल्ड और दैट वर्ल्ड ऑल आर सत्व बट सत्व आर ऑफ टू काइंड शुद्ध सत्व एंड मिश्र सत्व ऑल द सोल्स नाउ captured in material thing are mishra sattva they are all now mishra sattva and then we will give up all these things material sattva out of material sattva or shuddha in infinite in <coughs> part of lord सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड अणुचित शुद्ध अणुचित ट्रांसडेंटल थिंग दिस इज कॉल्ड शुद्ध सत्व एंड देन शुद्ध सत्व विशेष आत्मा वट इज इज शुद्ध सत्व वैन लाइक बलदेव प्रभु इज the origin of origin of all the sub all the jivas all the thing what are existent in this world baldev prabhu from him it comes so baldev prabhu is called the what is the deity of sandani shakti sandani shakti so anything coming from sandani shakti they are shuddha sattva understand and after two days you should forget right to not down in your heart and then visheddha visuddha satta vishesh atma oh ladani shakti you know ladani shakti and sambit shakti of swarup shakti of krishna krishna and then krishna swarup shakti and swarup shakti as like radhani and sambit sambit means knowledge and from knowledge this mood will come all kinds of bhav to serve krishna vicharin radhika pe me compare ki with radhani shakti with love and affection with ananda <laughs> so this is vishesh essence of radhani and sambit coming in sandini then they will be shuddha sattva vishesh atma if it is coming how it will come oh not by any sadhan <coughs> which we are doing or a jeev can do not by sadhan kripa siddha what is called kripa siddha perfection by by mercy the mercies are of two kinds कृष्ण मर्षि कृष्ण मर्षि हियर कृष्ण मीन्स श्रीमती राधिका बृंदे एंड ऑल तजीय कृष्ण मर्षि एंड सेकेंडली 
high class of devotees of Krishna. Like Shankar, like Narad Goswami, like Uddhav, and more than them, Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, down up to Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami, like Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, like our Guru, like Swami. In this line. No, not life. And I want to be the dust of their lotus feet. Never. <laughs> so, by mercy only, when we will surrender and very hankering for that rati, weeping always and thinking, we will do all the things that we must do, but always hankering for the mercy of Krishna and devotees. And when the devotees heart will be melted, seeing our eagerness and our exercising of bhakti, like Krishna looked towards the efforts of Mother Jasoda and he was melted. If their hearts are not melting by seeing your efforts for in the power, oh, they will not sprinkle their mercy. But he is very proud. He has so many false ego. He has so many worldly desires. Not exercising anything, sleeping, and not chanting. Oh, only he thinks that I have done oh, 16 rounds of Hari. <laughs> this will not do. Like Raghunath, like this. giving proper honor to all Vaishnavas. Never to criticize anyone if he is wrong or right. Especially worldly person. Only you can praise all devotees, Krishna, Bhakti and all these things. Never criticize anyone who is a very wretched person or he is lusty or what he is doing. If you will do, then all bad qualities will come in you. So, giving proper respect to them and don't have any ambition, desire to be respected. Especially, you will have to follow Srila Rupa Goswami and Prabhu Das Favorable? Oh, we should accept. If not favorable for bhakti, anything. If my body, my friends, my society, my wife, children, wealth, even this life, not favorable for bhakti. We we'll try to be bhakti. And what is not favorable? We should try to give up them and accept only if which are favorable for them. And doing this properly. First, what do you think? You should accept any transcendental good. If not even Madhyama Adhikari who is selfless, is expert in all kinds of Siddhanta and Rigobhim, all kinds of dogs, having no worldly desire, never. And then, duly uh, taken diksha in the real sense, he should take. And daily, for doing 
chanting Hari name continuously. And what Guru Maharaj has given months of oh, daily you should do. Oh, this is lacking in all devotees. They don't chant, even they don't have any Kursi Mala even, and they tell that I am a disciple of Srila Prabhupada, a disciple of him. They should know the meaning of months. They should know what is the, who, who is the duties of that mantra. What is my relation with that? Having strong faith on them that they will support and nourish me. Hmm? Having support. And this is called prapatti. And then saranagati. If you have belief in Krishna and you have given yourself in the Lord's feet of Krishna, then why you are uh, worry, so much. worry for your maintaining life? Krishna is. If Krishna can create this whole world, universe, in a moment, and if you have taken shelter to that very Krishna, who is so powerful, then why was? Well, I have seen so many uh, small dogs with their masters, and master giving a belt here and a chain in his hand. And he takes them with in walking. And if that small dog sees that a very big dog is there, and he wants to jump, but when he will be alone, then what? <laughs> but now he is proud of his master. And master has a gun, and if anyone attacks, oh, <laughs> he's so powerful master. So if you have taken this shelter of all oh, supreme master, so much powerful, then why to fear for maintenance? And if you are worried for this, then you are really have not surrendered. And here is the what? Uh, some some loophole in root. And that is why we want to make a very good house, good family, all these things. Because they have no faith in Krishna. That are the things which are lacking now. Our Gurus has opened our eyes to see, but our eyes are even not open to see all these things. So try to see all those things. Then Suddha Sattva may come. Otherwise how it will come? If their hearts are not melting, whom? Oh, in by Kunt Golok Vrinda Vandham. By seeing all. Our Guru, our devotees here, how they can pray to Krishna? And without praying Krishna, Krishna mercy cannot come. So, Krishna mercy is independent to devotees. Devotees mercy. So try to please devotees. And if you cannot please your Guru, who wants to sprinkle his mercy, always, but if you cannot serve him, you cannot make him a melt, how can you do it? So this is the thing. Oh, there is something loop and hole in our hole, in our root of bhakti. That is why something is wrong. If you are not knowing all these things of, about mantra, then how will the effect of the mantra will come? How it will? 
you are giving this seed in barren land like sands and you think that oh very soon this one it is in that class so you wish ha दिस मंत्र टेन टाइम्स or hundred eight times or more than this to practice and also nyas means i will follow all these things a shankalp like this oh oh ha so we must promise that oh i must do all these things then it is nya if you are not doing falling then where is result so first we should obey shila rup goswami upadesha amritam and then you should do what manasikya gurau gurau goste goshtale सुजने भूसुर्गने सुमंत्रेशी नामनी वजजुवदंद सरणे सदा दंभम हित्वा कुरु रकिम अपूर्वम अतिताम ए तो यू शुड फॉलो ऑल दिस थिंग्स डोंट नेगलेक्ट योर मंस एंड हरि नाम स्पेशली यू शुड ऑलवेज ओ हैव अ रति प्रति दिन दैट रति श्रद्धा then nishta ruchi asakti and then rati that rati yeah. to your chanting name uh, first guru both guru shiksha guru diksha guru and then goshtha nandagaon barshana radha kund and mahaprabhu puri all these things and then goshtha le isu or oh, those who are there नंद बाबा जशोदा मैया ऑल्सो रूप सनातन एंड दोज वर इन अवर संप्रदाय एंड आउट ऑफ संप्रदाय ऑल्सो दोज वर आचार्यज ऑफ निम्बादित निम्बार्क एंड ऑल अदर वी शुड गिव प्रॉपर रेस्पेक्ट टू देम डोंट क्रिटिसाइज देम एंड इवन ब्राह्मीस दोज वर नॉट वन पॉइंटेड टू कृष्ण even though we should try to honor them and then especially to hari naam and our mantra and then radha krishna jugal chaitanya maha in this way giving proper respect to all having so much rati love and affection for all these things and go on practicing then mercy of Vishnu or Mercy of Krishna will come, and then you can realize all these things. This is our object now. So we should follow all these things and try to realize. Gaur Prema Nadi. Now you can be class or anyone. साधन depends on the kripa kripa shri prasad prasad bhav this is our report is my shikshan this would have classes
Thank you.